on this episode of Minnesota Millennial Farmer. But the battle with the snow continues. Keenum takes the snap, rolls out to the left, fires, caught, touchdown! That right there is exactly what we don't want. I don't know what we're gonna do. Hey, good morning guys. It is Sunday morning. Obviously, this isn't what we want to see, but the battle with the snow continues. And we've got some really down corn laying flat down on the ground. We've got to run the snouts on the header, on the corn header really low to the ground so that these will get down underneath and pick that corn up that's laying on the ground. We try and get it up and scoop it up in there. Those stocks have snow on them and that snow is getting in the machine here and it's plugging things up. So it's plugging up the sieves and the chaffer which are the screens that help separate the kernels from the stock. But it's getting down in these down in these shoe augers here and back here onto the chaffer and the sieves. The other thing we had two days ago was this cleaning fan went out. So this is the big cleaning fan that spins at about a thousand RPM and it forces air up through the machine in between the chaffer and the sieves to help separate the kernels from the stocks and the trash and the rest of the stuff that's going in there. We had that cleaning fan go out because of too much snow buildup inside there. We found out there were four other guys within about five miles of here that had the exact same problem that day. So deer fixed that, they got us up and going again, but then we ran into more snow problems. So the plan for today is, we've had the snip go on here all night trying to dry this thing out. We got the heat turned up in here. We're gonna take this machine to a different field where we got about 70 or 80 acres left of corn that's standing really good. We're gonna knock that out first, then we're gonna come back home here where we've got our last 70 or 80 acres, and we're gonna try and pick around and pick through the best stuff that we can get. Because what we're thinking now is that we're gonna have to wait on that down corn to try and get it at a later time. Either the snow is gonna have to melt off of it so that there isn't snow on it, or we're gonna have to wait until it's probably 10 degrees outside so that that snow is so cold that it doesn't melt at all inside the back of the machine. Well, we found some more stuff back in on this side. We're gonna try and get in there and manually dig it out by hand. take a look at the sieves and just make sure that nothing's starting to plug up make sure everything looks like it's going okay so they're pretty well wide open I don't like all that stock trash laying on them but they're not plugging up with snow or ice or water or anything like that you can see the stocks are dry there's no snow that shakes off of them it's all just laying down in the rows. Snow into the machine. We'll 
kind of just go wrestle with it and see what we've got when we get there. There goes one. There she goes. All right, here is what we are dealing with when I talk about down corn. Obviously, I can't get this corn from the other direction because it's leaning this way. So if we come the other direction, it isn't going to pick it up. And when we go this way, it's got just enough wet snow in it. I have to turn my automatic header off here. It's got just enough wet snow in it to get in the header and get the header soaking wet and get everything in the back of the machine wet. Obviously, it doesn't feed in nice. This is the problem that we're dealing with in this field. And there's spots like that all the way across the field. So now we go here, and it's all standing pretty decent. again because after seeing what I see here on the header I don't really trust what's going on behind me so I'm gonna go take a look at that well there is some real down corn here so I don't know what we're gonna do it's pretty bad uh, we may just end up going to the shop and waiting for either a much warmer or a much colder day will be colder in the morning and we can get out there and knock some more of that corn out we did end up getting about 33 acres off this field so we should have about let's see here 45 65 acres to go total 25 acres of that is the test plot so that's gonna go slow but it's gonna be easy because the corn isn't laying down on on the ground uh, but the rest of this is gonna go a little slow there's about 45 acres left out here we'll pick away at it as we're allowed but for tonight, we're gonna put this thing in the shed, get some heat on it again, make sure the sieves are thawed out, get, them, get the moisture off of those because we don't want to allow that moisture to stay in there any more than we have to. So, we're gonna drive it into the shed and call it a night. Well, there's half of it that I dug out by hand. We had a big problem. It was piling up in here a lot more than I thought, so we are gonna stick the Nipco in it and dig it out by hand tonight so that this stuff will be melted in the morning. having to dig more stuff out of there I hope we didn't overdo it and damage anything because we were trying to push it and get as many acres out as we could so hopefully we didn't hurt anything and get any snow built up in the wrong spots in there but I dug out what I could we've got the nip coat going on it now so that so that it'll dry up overnight we aren't gonna let that go all night long dad's gonna shut that off later all in all 
not a bad day. We're quitting a little bit early. It's only seven o'clock, but the Vikings won today and we knocked out about 75 acres. So we did get some stuff done, just not as much as we wanted to. I'm gonna go home and eat some leftover lasagna. Thanks for watching, guys. Watching the grain dryer on a cold night just never gets old. Look at that. It sure is hard to find good help.